Hello, my name is Greg Phil. I'm the Director of Safety Assurance here at the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator. As you know, safety is the number one priority here at the Regulator, not only for our staff, but for everyone working in the industry. We've developed a series of videos that you can use yourself, and they're particularly based on how to manage uh, safety within your workplace and around toolbox talks that you can help deliver it to your staff. This series is based on COVID management. I really encourage you to take them on board, listen to them, embrace them, include them in your safety management system if you can. I think they're going to help. You'll also see some of our industry participants. They're here as well to help deliver that message. I really want to thank them for their involvement and their really great heart in making sure this important message gets out to everyone. Thanks again. My name is Arthur Papagianis, I'm the Managing Director of AP Psychology and Consulting Services and I'm a registered psychologist. Our purpose as an organisation is really to empower workplaces to be psychologically safe and thriving and we've got extensive experience in supporting workplaces to be mentally healthy and currently do a lot of work in the transport industry, logistics, warehousing and involved in the recently launched Healthy Heads in Trucks and Sheds. We know in the current climate there's significant uncertainty and change that's taking place and we know now more than ever it's important that we're looking after our mental health and well-being. We know truckies in particular, they experience prolonged periods of isolation and social disconnection. They're often on the roads for long periods of time and they experience fatigue, exposure to trauma and critical incidents, coupled with financial stresses and relationship challenges. Overlay that with, I guess, COVID at, at the moment. Uh, there's probably an exacerbation on those um, uh, symptoms that people may be experiencing. So it's ever more important, again, for us to be really focusing and doing something that's meaningful and important to supporting the mental health and well-being of truckies. Today, we're going to be talking about seven practical tips and strategies you can put in place to look after your mental health and well-being. So tip one is about taking notice, taking notice of your surroundings, your environment, how you're feeling, uh, what you're thinking, and really connecting with that. When we connect with ourselves and our emotional states and feelings and behaviours, we're in a much better place uh, to be looking after ourselves. Tip two is about being active. Uh, developing a healthy lifestyle. We know when we exercise, get out and about, if that means taking a break, walking around your truck, um, uh, walking uh, around uh, your home, whatever that may be, it releases endorphins and it often puts us in a, in a good place of, of health. Tip three, keep learning. Uh, when we push ourselves and stretch ourselves and view life through the lens of an opportunity and um, a place to learn, um, it gives us a sense of achievement and with that sense of achievement it gives us a lot of confidence and often puts us in a good place of health and well-being. The fourth tip is about connecting. We know that's one of the greatest things that uh, contributes to people's mental health and well-being. The more connections we have, uh, the better we feel. Uh, so we can never over-connect and we know currently we've been impacted by COVID and a whole range of things which is impacting on our connectedness and we know for you as truckies that can be a challenging thing as well when you're uh, removed or um, isolated from family and loved ones because you're on, on the road. Uh, finding ways to connect, whether that be over the phone, um, through FaceTime or other devices allows us to uh, really contribute to our health and wellbeing. Tip five, take one day at a time. Focus on what you can control, uh, put things in place that are you know, short term and easy to achieve because uh, that in again puts us in a better place and uh, feel a better sense of control which ultimately contributes again to our health and well-being. Tip six, try not to worry. There's a lot happening in the world um, and we know when we worry we're often living in the future and in a space that's, that is often uh, uncontrollable, so uh, minimising worry and focusing on the things uh, you do have control over and factual bits of information really puts us in a better place to look after our health and wellbeing. And the final tip, tip seven, is about helping others. We, we know we get immediate gratification, um, we feel connected, um, it gives us a sense of purpose, so helping others is a really great way to contribute to your own health and wellbeing. 
Look, I'm hoping you've taken something practical and meaningful uh, out of these suggestions. They're things you can introduce right away that don't cost anything and that can have a significant impact on your health and well-being. So why don't you commit today to doing one of these seven tips uh, to contribute to your mental health and well-being. Plenty of places to go to. A great starting point um, is with the recently launched Healthy Heads in Trucks and Sheds. Uh, that's a great place to find out more information, I guess, about mental health and well-being, which is quite targeted uh, to uh, sheds and truckies, ultimately. Um, and you can also connect with other broader uh, community-based organisations like Beyond Blue, another really good starting point who particularly focuses on uh, mental health. You've also got Lifeline, um, Kids Helpline and uh, Black Dog Institute as well. We've developed these COVID Toolbox Talk videos to support industry and hopefully get better safety outcomes in these challenging times.